Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to start spawning more obstacles because we only now have one spawning like every in every like main tile, so it's like pretty long distance between. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the GM and let's runner, and we want to go to the main spawner function. We can actually close all these others. Here on this on the main spawner, let's actually delete the spawn objects. We want to get a four uh, four loop. Now, not the four each loop, four loop. So this one, and the first index let's set it to one, and last index to five. Okay. Next thing, what we want to do, we want to actually create a new variable. Let's call it can spawn because we want to spawn. I will show you here on the viewport. Actually, I cannot show you. Oh, we have to go to the PP paste style. So we have these five spawning points here. We actually have to create them first. So we have this spawn location one, which is set to X400 location. So let's duplicate it. It should be already called spawn location two. Let's set it to 1200. Let's duplicate it once more. Let's set it to 2000. Let's duplicate it even more. Let's set it to 2800. And once more, and 3600. So they are each, they have like, they have like 800 units between. So now we can compile. And we can close this BB base style. And here on the GM Endless Runner, on the main spawner, now we can create the code that we wanted to create. So let's add a branch. Let's connect the loop body to the branch. And we want to check if we can spawn like this. And let's make this default as default true like this. So if we can spawn, what we want to do, we want to create a new variable. Let's call it obstacle spawn point. Let's change the variable type to arrow component object reference. Now we want to set it here on the true. And we want to get from this and we want to get the select select like this. Now we want to get the index and connect it to here. Add some reroutes here, and let's actually make it like this. Now here on the can spawn on the false, we want to set the can spawn to true. So first time we can spawn because it's set to true, and we can do this. After this, what we want to do, we want to spawn obstacles and we want to set the can spawn back to false. So basically first time we will do this and the second time when it's set to the can spawn false we will set it back to true. So it will skip like every other. So it will only spawn to every other arrow. So yeah. Now we want to set the spawn point. So let's add more pins from one to five. And let's actually move this even further down. So now we want to get the base style ref. And we want to get all the spawn locations. Let's actually copy this like this. Get spawn location one, paste it, spawn location two, spawn location three, Spawn location four and also to spawn location five. Now let's make this look a little bit better by making moving them like this. And let's move it even further up. And also let's move this a little bit further like this. Now let's connect one to the one, not to the zero, two to the two, three to the three, four to the four, and five to the five, like this. Okay. So it will get by the index, 
the spawn point from the base tile ref and set it to this obstacle spawn point uh, variable. Let's compile, let's save all. Now, if we play, actually, we haven't set the variable here, but now if we play and we set this to uh, this obstacle spawn point variable, then it will spawn to every other. But also, we want to spawn to all of the lanes. So, what we have to do? We want to go to, the, to here, to spawn obstacles. And here on the start, let's move this input a little bit further. And we want to do a for each. No, 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 not the for each. For loop. And from 0 to 2, like that. And then we want to create yet another variable. Let's call it obstacle lane location. And let's change the variable type to float. Okay, now we want to set this here on the loop body. And we want to get the select from this. And let's connect the index to here. And let's move this even further, like this. Now let's connect this to the switcher hint. And here, let's add another pin. So we have 0, 1, and 2. These represent the lane indexes. Now we can get from here, minus 260, 0, and plus 260. So let's set those values to here. So 0 is minus 260, and 1 is 0, and 2 is positive 260. And if you have different uh, lane like uh, locations, then you want to set these according to that. Okay, after that, what we want to do, we want to go here, and we want to delete this select and random integer in range. And we want to get our obstacle lane location and we want to connect it to the Y, so to the middle pin. And let's copy this, let's delete this, let's paste it, connect to the Y, align it better, do the same to here, paste it and connect to the Y, also here, paste it and connect to the Y. Now, when we, oh, we also have to change these, these spawn locations. So let's do it from here. So let's delete this spawn location and actually let's delete that. And let's move the base style ref to here. Oh, we can actually, oh, we can do it the simple way. So let's just get the obstacle spawn point and connect it to here. Let's select all of this. Let's delete all of this from here. Let's paste it. Move it to here, connect to the location, connect this to the target. Do the same to here. Connect this to the location, this to the target. And let's move it to here. And one more time. Actually, here on the bottom, what we want to do is we actually want to do the exact, exact same thing. So let's delete this. So let's paste it. Connect to here and let's delete the paste ref. Okay. Everything should be done. So let's compile. Let's save all. Let's go to the third person map and let's play. Let's see what will happen. And yeah, now we are getting obstacle on every lane, but we don't actually want that. So what we can do is here on the switch on int, now we have set this to from zero to three. So we are always spawning one of these, either the coins or one of the obstacles. So how we can fix that is we can set this to some higher number. So for example, to six. So it's from zero to six. 
actually if we set it to seven i think yeah now we have from zero to seven so it's eight uh possibilities and we have four of these so it has exactly the 50 percent chance to spawn something so let's compile save let's go to level and play let's see Okay, we have something here. Okay. Yes, now it is looking better. Let's try it once more. Yeah. And you can adjust the probability from here. And I think later on we will add some little bit more complicated or like advanced system to like randomize this. But for now, this will work. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.